Prime Minister Dr. Timothy Harris, after weeks of relative quiet on the issue of his discontented coalition partners, publicly fired them on national radio and television and immediately announced that Parliament had been dissolved. The announcement came on 10th May as the 21 days for the motion of no confidence against the Prime Minister was almost at an end and political pundits had expressed the view that the Prime Minister was unlikely to allow himself to face the motion of no confidence. For some reason, the termination of the ministers was also unexpected for some persons. Several ministers of the coalition PAM and CCM had their portfolios stripped and resigned to a senator and to the attorney general, as well as to two other ministers of government. I have taken the difficult but necessary step to remove from their positions those who have shown a disinterest in their duties. I have asked His Excellency to reassign their portfolios to members who are willing and able to deliver for you. Yesterday I asked His Excellency the Governor General, Sir S. W. Tapley Seaton, to remove the Honorable Sean Richards from the Office of Deputy Prime Minister. In his stead, I have advised His Excellency to appoint the Honorable Jean Hamilton to the Office of Deputy Prime Minister. The Honourable Hamilton has been steadfast and responsible in discharging his duties as a minister of the portfolios assigned to him. I have also asked His Excellency to revoke the appointment of the Honourable Richards as a Minister of Government and to reassign his portfolios to the Honourable Eugene Hamilton. Deputy Prime Minister Hamilton will now have conduct of the department and subjects under the Ministry of Public Infrastructure, Posts and Urban Development that had been previously assigned to the Honourable Richards. I am also to advise that I have asked His Excellency to revoke the appointments of the other ministers who have thought it fit to disrespect the sacred trust that the people of St. Kitts and Nevis place in the government following our very successful general election campaign in 2020. Since the Prime Minister's announcement, at least one former minister has responded, encouraging his supporters to be ready for the polls. The Prime Minister said an election date would be announced later. Glenn Bart reporting for SK Newsline.